Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, so this is going to show you guys how to add an item filter to PoE. So if you look at options and you click on game, you'll see list of item filters. If you've never added one before, you'll only see the default item filter. So if you don't want the the default item filter, you want something else made by a different creator, you'll need to go to the uh, PoE website. Let me go there really quick. Yeah, so this is the PoE website. You want to make sure that you're logged in with your account so you can add the filter. Click on Home, go to My Account, then click on Item Filters right here. So this is what it'll, it will look like if you have no followed item filters. So you want to click on Item Filter Ladder and you'll see a list of different item filters. So for me personally, I like to add the ones made by NeverSync. So I'll just click the item filter name that I want and then click follow. So after that, you'll see a list of other item filters made by the same creator. Uh, if you wanna unfollow, like say uh, this one I followed, if you wanna get rid of it, just click unfollow. And then after that, uh, it'll be gone from the list. So you'll see right now that uh, I only can see never syncs items, item filters. So if I want to go back, I'll go to my account and then item filters, then you'll I'm back to this page, item filter, filter ladder. So I can click on that. And for me, I want to add the top four, these four to my account. So I'll just click. Uh, that, follow, and then I'll click on these down here. Want that, that, and that. So now I'm following the regular soft core, the semi strict soft core, the strict soft core, and then the very strict soft, or well, not the very strict, uh, just the strict. Maybe I'll follow that one too. That's, yeah, I need number four. All right. So I have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so after I've done that, I should be able to see this in my game. So let me go back to the game. All right, so now we're back, let's check. So go to options, and then game, list of item filters, click that. And you see, there we go. Never sync one, have a two, three, and four. So just click on the one that you want. And then that should load. See, item filter loaded successfully. Never sync one regular software. If you want to switch, you can, if you want to go back to like default, item filter loaded successfully. Or if you want the very strict, just click on that and it'll show which one loaded for you. So uh, sometimes, oh, you want to click save. After you've loaded your item filter, sometimes you'll uh, see that the items, they don't appear on the ground. Like uh, for this right now, it does appear on the ground, but sometimes if you don't see anything appearing and you loaded the item filter, you wanna make sure that you have uh, always highlight on. So you have your item filter there. Next, you wanna go to UI, go down, and then ah, right here, under gameplay, always highlight, make sure that's checked. So if I uncheck this, you'll see that this item goes away. See, now it's gone. So if I click always highlight, then you'll see this on the ground. And you can pick it up. So that's it for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.